Hey, what's up everybody? It's Craig, the dad from Collins Club, and I'm here to do a quick DIY on how to unclog your tub drain. Common sense? Yes. But when a friend of mine down the street paid another person $50 to come in and do this, in my head I was like, I could have done it for you in probably 45 seconds. So for all you single moms out there that have a clogged tub drain, and all you dads that don't have time or are on the computer all the time and you don't have a really good knowledge of tools, I'm gonna help you out with that. If this is what your clogged tub looks like sometimes. Now, of course, we got some props in there. We got Barbies and the Mermaid and all that stuff from Rubber Dougie. I do not take a bath with these people right here, okay? They are from my daughter, and this is what happens after they take a bath or a shower. Still stays a little clogged, there's some water in there. And I'm gonna let that drain slowly and I'm gonna show you what we do. Oh, one fell over. See, she's sick of it being drained too. Who wants to stand in their filthy tub water from the shower or the bath? What you need to have to finish this job is very simple. You need a box of medical exam gloves, some vinyl ones. Now you don't need the whole box, you only need two obviously, but these are a great thing to keep around your house. Whenever you're cleaning something really dirty or dingy, these gloves on are like those palm olive gloves and they're, very, they're disposable, so they're great. You need a screwdriver, a flathead that's a little wide, and you kind of need a thin, long screwdriver, and I'm gonna tell you why. So if your drain looks a little bit like this one right here, all right, I'm gonna show you what you do. I'm gonna take this right here, and you gotta kinda hold it, all right? Let's give you a, let's, let's show you. Take this base, hold it, and unscrew this. Now underneath there is going to be a flathead screwdriver spot. We're gonna put a screwdriver into there, and we're gonna take that off. All right, let's keep it close. That's where this wider flathead comes in. So you hold that, turn her, unscrew. All right, see, nothing's on there, a little bit of hair. And then you put it right there. Now. I'm gonna put the camera on a thing here and it's probably gonna gross you out, but it's simple to do this. So this is where the gloves come in handy. See, we got the gloves on, ladies. This is gonna gross you out a little. Half the time it's probably your own hair, your husband's hair, your kid's hair. This is what we're gonna do. This is where we're gonna take the long one. And I advise you to get a grocery bag, plastic bag, because what comes out of there, you're gonna wanna take out of there and put it here. Now don't go digging down in there hard. All you're gonna do is just, there's gonna be some things in there just reach in and try and get, there's a little bars that goes across your drain. Just try and reach the bars and you're gonna see some hair coming up, all right? And this is gross, but you gotta do it. Do not jam, dig, scrape, nice and easy, because this is disgusting. You wanna get it to where you can grab some of the hair, because once you grab the hair, you gotta pull slowly, all right? All right, there's some hair in there. You want to get as much together as you can and just pull, keep pulling. Man, it's nasty. And that's why you wear these gloves, because this is gross. Keep reaching down as far as you can in there with your fingers, pulling up. Sometimes it's going to break, sometimes it'll stay together. All right, let's go. Let's go. It's gross. I mean, I'm pulling kind of hard, but... If you can hear the hair, it's like because it wraps around the thing. It wraps around the bars that this thing connects to. There's little threads in there, and it's like an X, and this goes into it. And it wraps around that, and that's what the hair wraps on. But it's good because you don't want all that down there. Woo! It might be a little sticky, but what are you gonna do? <sighs> I can deal with that to save a few dollars. Oh man, it's not coming up like I like there. Usually it comes up in a bigger clump, but we're not giving up. This is a bad one. All right, see that? There's all hair. All right, let's get some more. Let's get this. All right, we got, yeah, that's not coming up like normal. Like I said, don't be scraping around in there too hard. We got some right here. Come on, buddy. Maybe that was the, no, that wasn't the most of it. Because I know something's still wrapped around that bar. Yuck. You don't really want that hole. You want to try and get it because you don't want, you don't want it to go down there. Alright, let's see here. Still seeing anything? I think I got it. So I took my one glove off. Let's see. You can look down in there with a flashlight. Let's see what we got. See that bar? 
that's where the hair wraps around right there okay because that's where the threads are that hold in your drain plug all right so let's get this thing back together and we're good to go simple see that gross but simple you put this in there turn it a little bit hold that get your flathead on there screw it back in take the center cap screw this back in there you are plug unplug run the water it's good to go all right let's see boom running good now all right folks so there you have it simple easy drain unclogged money saved this is craig the dad from collins club